this is not the Star of Bethlehem. As you can see, this flower has four or five points, and the Star of Bethlehem has six. But as you can see, wildflowers in Florida are blooming good. Special ones of weeds. Now that little star there is on a vine that grows around this area. And oh, you can see very beautiful. But here I am getting ahead of myself. What I want to talk about course is constipation and uh, you may get rid of it permanently so uh, as you know most people in a, a very high high life protocol. They have to never have time for anything. So when they give them the food, they just wolf it down. And what you're doing, you're creating uh, your constipation there by not drinking enough water with what you're eating. You need to wash every mouthful down with a mouthful of water. And that keeps your stool from getting hard. And that is the main cause of uh, constipation, hemorrhoids, and all that crap. Is your stool is getting hard, too hard to pass. So, of course, you can take these uh, st uh, stool softeners and they work very good. But you don't want to do that if you don't have to. I never take nothing unless it's absolutely necessary. But sometimes it is. So, but rather than take a be taking laxatives all the time or these stool softeners. Try drinking a lot of water when you're eating. I think you'll find a, it will benefit you substantially. And also for you uh, people out there doing a lot of walking, I urge you to Especially if you're downtown or beside a busy roadway to breathe through your nose when you're walking or running if possible. Because what happens is the fumes coming out of all those exhausts, the uh, gases in them, they go wrong up. But the rest of the exhaust has these micro particles in them. And when you breathe them in through your nose, your nose hairs captures a lot of those particles. And you don't breathe them down your throat. So, uh, as to the the uh, constipation, stool softeners, and hemorrhoids. Uh, try following this advice for a while. See if you don't come out 
a whole lot better. And by the way, all you old geezers out there like me, <coughs> on these marathons, uh, walking, walk racing and all that, don't be afraid if you get a little bit winded to slow down. Take it easy. Cause you get our age, you could have a major heart attack, even if you have a good heart, or you think you do. So don't try to man up. Keep going when you know you ought to slow down for a minute or two. Okay, I guess that's all for today. Thank you so much.